How are you doing? Trucking work, spring piss and rental fever at Lone Wolf Strength Training. It's been uh, since the 17th that I did a 275 pound bench press. The following workout, which I think was on the 25th of August, the 17th of August, <laughs> the 25th of August, I think I did 230 for five. Um, everything went downhill. I kind of did a max thing that time. I had worked up to a 355 squat and 275 bench. And everything kind of plummeted. So far, all this time I've been kind of playing outside, uh, doing clean and presses, power cleans, deadlifts, squats, a lot of exercises. Probably way too many exercises. I had to take a break. It's really, really beating me up. And uh, I'm planning on cutting the program way back. But that's what this is about. It's about learning new things. That's, that's what Brooks Cubic would say. Learning new things. So I got 225. I'm just going to see where I can go here on this since I have not bench pressed since the um, I think 25th of August. 225. Pretty good. I'll try to do 45. So my main pressing exercises have been the military press. I've done some push press and the parallel bar dip. I always finished up every workout. I'd come down here in the basement and I would do uh, weighted parallel bar dips and sometimes just body weight dips. And actually last week I had a really good dip workout. I, uh, I dipped 90 pounds, 245 pounders, plus my chain, so it was more than 90. I dipped that six times, so I was pretty happy with that. And then I did uh, four wide grip pull-ups with 25 pounds. Not too bad for me. That went pretty good. Two more tens on. So I've kept lots of track and lots of records of my workouts and stuff over the past. And I've talked about this before that one of my most productive workouts was when I had an hour lunch break. I'd come home. And say, for instance, I would do bent over barbell rows. I'd work up to heavy weight, do one all out set. When I came home from work, I would do deadlifts. At that time, I know I did my heaviest deadlift in my bent over row. Uh, it was, it was uh, 365 pounds for a single. And I think I might even done more with the straps on. I think I did more with straps. I, I didn't hardly count it. But it was more, it was like three, I think it was 385 pounds. That was back in my 30s. So anyhow, what I'm planning on doing, and I know I keep on shifting and changing things. I'm planning on um, doing more sets, more reps. I think the problem with my workouts is I push so hard, I come up to a plateau right away. I hit a wall immediately. I think I have to have more, more volume into my workout, a little bit more. I'm not gonna go volume crazy. I'm just talking about like um, three sets of five. And uh, I did actually five sets of five for my military presses yesterday, and that felt really, really good. I really liked it. My deadlifts are three sets of five yesterday.
that actually felt really good. Um, I'm going to go up and wait, and wait again and see what happens here. Um, some people say that dips don't carry over in the bench press. Well, I think I disagree. I think they do carry over to the bench press. Otherwise, my bench press would be nothing right now. So, put a 25 pound plate here on there and a five. Now what I have found out about this experimenting is that my right shoulder has actually been feeling better. I think the overhead press has definitely have, have been needed in my workouts. Uh, at night I would wake up with lots of shoulder pain because I'd fall asleep on this right shoulder. But since I've been doing my overhead presses and my dips, I haven't had near the shoulder pain. I don't think it's coincidence, I think there's something to it. All right, I got what, 285 here. We'll see if I can beat what I had done before when I was benching all the time. That was one slow bench press. But I wanted to do that. I wanted to kind of see where I'm at because I'm gonna do some calculations. I'm planning on starting really conservatively actually for the five sets of five. I'm planning on using um, probably 70% of whatever I did here, 75 to 80% of what I did here for my sets of five starting out. And I'm going to do barbell rows. I'm planning on filming that also because I'd watched a Mark Ripito video where he really butchered a barbell row. I don't, I don't know why they do such cruddy form at starting strength, but I'm going to do a video on that, on that too. If you liked the video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'd highly appreciate that. God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay right with God. And Jesus is a savior. Subscribe. I'd highly appreciate that.